Is there a problem with the 18 year old gap? I'm 22 and he's 40. Your son. So I'm big on like not passing judgment on people's situations because life happens to the best of us. You never know what you could end up in. But that's a significant age gap. Uh, personally, when I was 22, I wouldn't be dating anyone who is in their 40s because that would be the age of my parents. So, and that's, that's a good way, but just be careful because it's giving grooming. And you don't want to, when you get older, like even if it's your partner that you marry, you don't want to have certain resentment towards them because um, naturally older men have this thing of molding you into what they want you to be. So you don't want to feel like you've missed out on a certain portion of your life of being young and having freedom because somebody restricted you into being a wife at the age of 22, you know? Uh, as long as your dynamic doesn't then deprive you of certain experiences you should have as, at a young age, then if you're happy, my babe, would you come? Now, you guys, Michelle Damaso was alive, and one question came through where a 22 year old asked um, for advice from Michelle, where she was asking if there was something wrong if she was dating someone who is 40 and she is 22. So the gap is like 18 years. And Michelle was like, oh, okay, she's not someone who judges people for dating like older men, but. Obviously, there are disadvantages to that, especially because it's giving grooming. And if someone is 40 and they're 22, um, older men have this tendency of molding like younger girls um, to be what they want them to be. And as you grow older, you start to realize that, hey, boo, you actually missed out a lot. So it's really not a good thing to date an older man like that. Maybe she was scared to say it, you guys. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? But for me, I feel like she was scared to say it. It's wrong. That is it.